Hi guys, in this complete crash course we are going to show how to create this in Blender. So without wasting any second let's get started. First things first, open a new file. Then delete everything in our scene. So that we have nothing in our default scene except for the 3D cursor right in the middle. Now we are going to write orthographic. Then add a reference image. We are using this reference image for the modeling part of the tutorial. If you want to follow along you can download this from the description below. Then drag and drop it inside of Blender and that will drop the image. Let's just reposition the reference image to the middle. So we are going to Object Properties and Set Scale. Then Location like this. At this time we are going to object data properties and set side both to front. Then enable opacity 0.5 and also disable perspective. So when we disable perspective we don't show the reference image in the perspective view. But only show the orthographic view. At this time go to filter on select able so that we are not accidentally select or move the reference image anymore anywhere. So uncheck this select table. Okay let's start by adding in a plane. So going to mesh and add in a plane. Before we do anything else. We are going to this little menu that pops up. Now align, world to view. Next go to the edit mode. Then we are going to vertex select mode. Now collapse edges and faces. Let's move vertex like this. Now extrude according to the reference image. Keep this in mind that we will to make the shape correct. At this time, we are going to select these two vertex. Then fill. Now slide these vertices like this. At this moment, we are going to snapping and set increment to vertex. Next go to the edge select mode. Then select these edges and bridge edge loops.
Let's add a loop cut. At this time, we are going to modifier properties and add a mirror modifier. Also enable clipping. Next go to the preferences, enable F2 add-on. Now we are going to modifier properties and add a sub D modifier. Also shade auto smooth. At this moment, Add a bevel modifier like this. Next bevel these edge. 